In this video, we'll show you how to create this decay effect. So what you want to do is you want to start with a image like I have here. Uh, you want to make a copy of that image and then remove the background, which um, I'm sure by now you know from the action sequence and other assignments that we've done. You don't need to be too critical about the edges of the object because uh, you're going to decay it anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's not too clear. You do want to make a copy of this uh, background, and uh, you notice also that um, I've actually deleted the background. It does not have a mask, so this is one of those cases where we actually don't want to work with a mask, because we'll be adding some in a minute. Um, so I'm going to make a copy of that uh, of that layer, and uh, now on the this bottom layer, I'm going to take it and I'm going to distort this layer. So I'm going to go to Filter and go Liquify. And with the Liquify filter, I will come up in a second. Um, I have this relatively large brush, and I'm actually going to make it even slightly larger. And now when I pull to the side, I'm getting a distortion. Oops, and I'm getting him to be quite big and fat, but I'm filling the, the frame with as much of him as uh, as I can. Um, so I'm, I'm filling my image with, with him. All right, so once I've got that, let's click OK. And I know it looks horrible, but that's the, the point here is because you're going to use that as a fill. And then on this background copy, I'm going to apply a, a mask. So I'm click a layer mask, and I want this to be a completely black mask because I don't want to see him. So I'm going to go um, Edit, Fill, I'm going to fill it with black right there. Um, so if it says something else, you want to change that to black and say OK. So now he disappears. And on this mask here, which is the, the proper one, I'm going to add a, a blank mask. So it's a clear one. Now, the next step is that I'm going to use my different brushes. So I'm going to go into my brush palette. And I have brushes here um, and with brush settings. Now, if this doesn't show up, you just go to Window and go to Brush Settings and bring that menu up. And if you look through here and you don't have a whole lot of brushes, then you want to click on the little flyout. Actually, you want to go in here. You want to go on the, the brush icon here and see if it gives you. If it doesn't give you more, uh, then you go to the other icon here and go to the actual brush menu and see Get More Brushes. There is a Get More Brushes here. That will take you to the Adobe site and you'll be able to download and install more brushes. So, okay. So, but once you have a brushes, I'm going to go into my brush settings. And uh, I'm going to, with these settings, I can place around the spacing. So I have this a little bit more randomized. And now I can just go along the edge. And I want to make sure it's black because I want to get rid of things. And I'm going to deteriorate the edges of this a little bit. There we go. Um, and I'm going to play around with other brushes. So I'm going to try out different ones. And so if it makes do some damage to his edges. There we go. All right. So I've got his edge. So it's not doesn't have such a clear edge anymore. So that's the first step. So then I'm going to switch to my other layer. I'm going to my background copy layer. This time I want it to be white because I want to start seeing through some of the things from behind. Now you notice as I'm going here, uh, this is looking rather circular. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to keep switching up the brushes and change the sizes so things don't look the same so much. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to dab in a few places, make a few lines and so on. I'm going to add a whole bunch of, of one and I'm going to add and I'm subtract, play with the brush sizing, uh, use different brushes, texture brushes here. I can play around with the spacing um, and the sizing so I can play with different things and then again add some in and so you want to try out and just try different things and, and, and try to make this somewhat messy. So I've done that and I've played around with it and you, and you should spend some time playing with that. And then what you're going to end up with, and I'm just going to turn this off and turn on the ones that I've had before, just so you can see uh, what we what we had before. I'm going to turn off this this background fill. So I have then um, I have my fill here, and here I have my runner. And then the last thing that you want to do with that is because the some of the edges here don't look that great. You want to clean that up. So by cleaning up, what I mean is you go to your your mask, and now you're going to take a soft brush. I'm going to go back to my soft brush here. And uh, I'm going to take a soft one, make sure it's white, because um, again, I want to uh, see what's there. And then I'm going to go onto his face, and I'm going to brush over the parts that I want to make sure are sharp. So the face, maybe part of the arm, maybe I want his muscles to show, maybe his hand. Um, you know, maybe I want to make sure that the, the leg in the front here is sharp. So you can choose which part of the image to bring back and to not have it deteriorated. So then you can see what works well. Uh, and that's your final image. Now, the one thing that you have, you're working on this background 
that is so the generic transparent Photoshop background. So you want to add a back background color to that. So for that, I'm going to go back to my layers panel and I'm going to add, and I already have one here, but what I'm doing, what I do is I go into my adjustment layers and I do a solid color one and it gives me the screen. Now I don't want to do black. I can do different colors. Um, and I can choose whatever color I want. And if you have this below, I'm going to say okay to this color. And if you have this below your, your subject and below your background copy as well, then you can actually go in here, and this is where it's really cool, you can sample, and you can sample parts of what he's wearing or parts of his body to sort of see what does it look like depending on what part of the image you choose.